the sander and the forecast wasn't wrong. Started off with sunshine, but we soon got the howling winds and full-blown carnage. <laughs> So some crazy carnage there, but some exciting racing in the men. Antoine Albo kicked off the day with a first place and he was looking quite unstoppable, but went down hard in the quarterfinals in the second one. And he has now used his second discard. But the winners of the day have to be uh, Antoine Kestel, two finals for him. He was right up there. Uh, but the two standout riders in the crazy conditions we had today, uh, Julian Kentel, the Frenchman, and Maciek Rakowski. Uh, both recording a second and a third place apiece. Just one word, uh, gnarly. As gnarly as it gets, super windy, raining as hell. Like you, you can't see so much water in your eyes. But um, I actually had a good one, which, uh, which is funny. I'm, I'm knackered, I can't really even enjoy it. I'm just dead. But yeah, a second and a third, and I'm up into third, so it's... Uh, it's as good as it gets for a, for a day on tour. So Maciek Rakowski now up into third place. Like I said, really good day for him. Uh, second place is Pierre Mortefon and Matteo Iacchino, the Italian, is up into first place. In the women, good days for the Brit. Jenna Gibson and Marion Mortefon both recording a second and a fourth place. Um, but the standout riders again today, Sarah Keita Offringer. She won that first elimination and third in the second one and Delphin Cousin Castell yes the reigning tour leader and current world champion recorded a third in the first one and put her first bullet on the board by winning the last elimination I managed to finish third and first as the last one so I'm really happy about my last race because I finally took a good start and uh, I managed to be, to arrive in first position at the first mark and uh, until uh, the end of the race. The condition was really hard with uh, yeah, in qualification down, very, down. very strong win and uh, it was super difficult but uh, I like this condition and uh, so I'm happy to win in this type of condition. And now it's a pretty good day, I think. So it's all to play for, three days left. Who is gonna win this competition here in Vida Sander? Who will be leading the world rankings? Well, you'll have to tune in to find out. Day number four coming up tomorrow. Stay tuned.